Hey guys, I'm all back with another video and today I'm going to show you tips and tricks with the tape measure. Laying at a wall. So you've got different measurements on your tape measure already labeled so then there's no guessing when you're framing a wall. you got your one foot on centers, which is a black arrow. You got your 16 on centers, which in modern day tape measures, it would be a red box around it. And then some tape measures, in this case we I have it, you got your 19 and 3 16 on center. Now, why framers use the one foot, 16, 19 and 3 quarters, 24 inch on centers. The reason why framers or contractors use those numbers is because they die off in an eight foot section and normal sheet goods are eight feet by four feet so if you use a one foot you got eight feet so it'll match 16 it'll match and 19 and 3 16 it'll match so and 24 because it's also a one foot increment kind of thing so they're all going to work when you're in a sheet out uh exterior wall let's say so then you would want to use definitely these measurements now, have you ever wondered why there's a slot on the tip of your tape measure? I'll show you why. This tape measure only measures up to 25 feet. So, if, say I'm doing a 60 foot building, I would need a longer tape measure. Now, let's say, this is just for demonstration purposes. I know I can just hook my tape measure at the end of the stud, but I don't have a 60 foot building at the moment that's framed. So, I'm not going to be able to show you that, but I'm going to show you how you can use that slot. Now let's say I need to know the middle of this stud. Don't hammer it too far in. And then you can hook your tape measure on the nail and the nail falls into the slot. And then you can keep running all your measurements on. Now, if you're measuring a small wall, this is not a necessity and you don't need it. But let's say you're a contractor or you're building a huge building that, and you don't have a big enough tape measure. You run your first, let's say 25, 24 feet, and then you can put a nail and then you can continue on measuring and then go your other 24 feet or 25 feet. And then you just keep going until you're done measuring. Let's get into the next tip. Now, have you ever been at a job site with multiple tape measures? You have a cut man or you have just multiple tape measures, one where you're cutting and then you have one in your tool bag. Have you ever checked if they always show the same dimension? Now, let's check our tape measures. I'm gonna put one tape measure on a piece of wood and I'm gonna mark one foot. Now, I'm going to double check it, and it is one foot. So, now I know both of these tape measures, their dimensions are correct. And if I have one tape measure at my miter saw and one where I'm doing my work, I know I'm not going to have a difference of a 16th or 8th inch. They're both going to be the same dimension. What if they're different? Uh, you need to buy another tape measure. <laughs> Okay, next tip. Have you ever wondered why the hook of your tape measures move up or down? No. Well, at first I thought it was a manufacturing error, but with a bit of research, I learned that when you pull a material, you're pulling on it and you're gonna get a dimension. But when you push, the hook is angled. So then when you push, it would be a different measurement. And it'll be off by like a 16th or an 8th inch. So then they engineer it to move. So then you get that accurate measurement. So if I pushed and got a measurement of let's say one foot, and then I needed to cut a piece of wood, and then I hook it, it'll both be the same. But if the tape measure hook was fixed, I would get like a 16th off and it would be maybe too tight or too loose. So the tape measure manufacturer engineers the tape measure to give you the accurate measurement when you push or if you pull because of the angle of the hook. So those are my tips and tricks for using a tape measure. 
If you have any more tips or tricks, please leave a comment down below and I'll make a future video of new things I learned. Thanks for watching. Please smash the like button below and subscribe.